What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with Maíra Chitara, who gave a great show last week and beating up Holy Home in a great fight. Uh, congratulations, first of all, Chitara. Well, thanks so much. Hi, guys. Yeah, pleasure to have you here. Uh, tell us about Juliana Penha said right after the fight that she could beat you up, you and Raquel Pennington, in the same night. How did you see that uh, that statement from her, from a former champion? She's scared. She's scared. She talked too much. I think she no want to fight with me because, you know, I knock out out or submit her. Uh, do you think uh, Raquel Pennington is ahead of you in that fight? Why do you believe? Because I saw some reporter asking you, why do you believe nobody will see that fight? Why Why do you think if UFC put Raquel Pennington and Juliana Pena, nobody will see that fight? Uh, I need I need to be that next because nobody have uh, submission or, or fight of the night or performance of the night like me. You nobody want to fight Juliana Penha and Raquel be, because nobody watch because it's no good fight. It's no good fight. Everybody goes sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, do you think uh, in case you go straight to face Juliana Penha, do you think uh, Holy Home was a more difficult opponent for you than Juliana Penha? Of course, Holly Holm had a good kickbox, a good box, and then she improved her wrestling. Juliana, have courage. Have courage. Do you see yourself as a best grappler than Juliana Pena and also a best striker? Uh, you're a better, well-rounded fighter. Yes, I proved this. I proved all this, uh, a lot of submission in the first round, uh, a lot of fights of the night, a lot of performance of the night. I'm the best in Juliana in everything. So do you think you're going to be disputing the belt in the end of the year, for example, the end of 2023? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I want to, but UFC, no. Uh, imagine it in Brazil, November. Huh? Oh, my God. That, that would be great. November, you think you said you need a vacation. You'll be ready on November, for example, if UFC call you out to be in the card in, in Sao Paulo or maybe, I don't know where, in Brazil? Two days off, I need to I need back to train now. <laughs> <laughs> Two days off is, is good, it's perfect. November is good. I... Sorry. Okay, no problem. Go, November go is good. November is good. Also, we are talking in the backstage here about your training with Kayla Harrison. How, how is having a, such a good uh, uh, training partner like Kayla? I saw here a, a, a picture you guys train. How is training with her? It's a pleasure training with Kayla. She's the best grappler in the world. My jiu-jitsu is nothing like, uh, like, nothing like the girl. This girl is amazing. Well, fair enough. You also had the opportunity to train with Alexandre Pantoja. You guys train a lot in, in ATT. How is train with the champion? How, what do you have to say about the, the new uh, flyweight champion of UFC? I love this guy. This guy is amazing. Uh, training hard, training every day, training. Th this guy is amazing guy. This guy is the, the best champion in the UFC now. Oh, nice. Uh, the last fight you did in the, in the, in the, the uh, under division was against Manon Fioro, the, the French girl, and she will face Rose Namayunas, who is going stepping up just like you did. Uh, how do you see Rose Namayunas in the new division, and what do you think uh, uh, about her against Manon Fioro, who was the last girl to beat you up? I think it's good for for Rose uh, up up division because I think. Uh, um, straw weight is hard. It's hard to count weight for her. And I think she win Manu Fioro. Manu is great fighter. Manu win. <laughs> but <laughs> I believe uh, I believe in hers. Hers in my own. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, thanks a lot for the interview, uh, Mayra. I think I, I, I wish the best for you. I hope you'll be disputing the belt until the end of the year. 
Thanks so much. Thank you guys. God bless you.